Welcome back, folks. The more Metroid Fusion here on the Heaven Best X channel, and uh, we're back on we're back on our ship here. So, um, here's a little something that I've learned. Unfortunately, for this next segment, we need to have this part repeat again. So I decided to cut the information out here. As you can see here, it repeated the whole everything that was learned for the last episode. So I have to apologize, ladies and gentlemen. If I want to make sure things are cut short, but you want things to happen, so we're gonna head back into the game about three, two, one. Let's get back right back to where we was before. Now this time, in order to trigger this event again, if we hadn't triggered it, the uh, see that thing there, that thing would not be there for to be hashed. Yeah, those things have now fully. Evol have now fully hatched, so that's going to cause us a few problems from here on out. In terms of liking things and other things as well, basically just don't want to get that out of the way, so... That door there connects us to through here, and now we just have to make our way through this entire segment. In order to get- in order for us to get to the silo! Which is right- Bloody heck! What is up with- Jesus Christ! I didn't think it would have a weed- didn't think this thing has a weed problem! But, I made a mistake! This thing DOES have a weed problem! Bloody hell, where's the fucking- where, where's the weed killer when I need it? Anyway, to move on, in order for us to uh, find out what the fuck's going on here, we need to explore everything in this core area. See that there? That's the way to get to things. So we really haven't got the necessary tools for proper exploration of this area. See if you may notice. But we'll, see this thing. This place is huge, and I'm not saying it's because it's a preside reference. This thing is huge. So yeah, we got what well, we got space pirates now. Space fire to deal with. Uh, we can beat them now if we charge up our beam. You don't necessarily want to do that. I mean, after all, they are space pirates, so it's very difficult to actually get the whole thing. Yeah, that's a, this is that's a free energy tank that takes our energy tank count to ten. Moving on to where we're heading off to, we need to get more of these enemies. Uh, we to find some, some foot. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna get more space pirates here. Seriously, I am. Okay, uh, let's sort that out. There we go. Okay, can we find a soft spot there? Seriously, where we can find a soft spot? Oh, there we go, soft spot there. More space pirates. Seriously. Uh, there is actually a thing to do here. Uh, there is a thing you can do here, but I'm just trying to remember. This is a difficult part. These are very difficult opponents to split the exit hand the exit view space. Seriously, I have no idea where they fucking got space pirates for this bit. I'm thinking space pirates. what space pirates on SRX388 when it happened or freaking oh they must have gotten data from written from that Ridley uh, thing. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, uh before we move on, we got that item to pick up. Right here. Missile pack number 180. That's important. Now I need to head towards the bottom of the chamber here. That's uh, stuff. Come on. Seriously, where the fuck do we move on to? Do I need to start using power bombs? Oh, that's the way forward. Ah, there we go. Perfect. This conveniently gives us our way forward. Very does give us our way forward. Okay. Up here, through there, through there, up here. And we got a boss going on, haven't we? Yes, we do. These things are so easy to do. Right. Large chamber. Interesting boss. This is one of the more unique bosses of the series. Welcome. A very, very pissed off spider thingy. AKA, this is Tarantulas. This is, this is the next boss in the series. This is an unlike, this, this, this creature here is an unlikely carrier with specific items we're seeing in a minute anyway. When he does that, you wanna use when he aim upwards and blast blast him with tons and tons of missiles. Or the ice super missile enhancement thing anyway. Moving straight on. So that uh keep doing that because eventually he's gonna get sick doing at this part. Seriously for this spot so part then you need just to hug the corners. That's all you need to do. This is an easy boss. 
is a really easy boss to begin with. Just the timing and the shit. There we go. Now he's damaging enough to ditch the wings. And wait a minute, why is that so familiar? He's basically jumping up at us. Wait a minute, he, he wouldn't expect that, would he? I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect a boss like him to actually have it. That'd be weird if he did. Great if he did, no he did make the heck of a lot easier. All you have to do is basically time where your jumps are and basically hit him up with a missile. Destroy him enough and a core and a core extra appears. These things are starting to get easy now, there they are. And again, just making sure these things are a joke. You basically just hide them and just that's it, that's it! That's all you need to do! This boss is this entire set gate so far has been completely easy, and defeating this Corex particular regains us the space jump. This was an ability introduced in Metroid 2, and has been very consistent ever since. If you keep pressing the jump button now, constantly, it will allow you to basically jump up higher than further. This takes us back, and now that we activate the auxiliary power station, we now have, we now have power to the elevators and to the safe stations. And the power source, and the navigation room as well, how convenient as well. So, we've regained the ability to use save rooms and recharge rooms. They're back to normal, but we can't do anything about the elevators. But with only auxiliary power going through it, the elevate the silo is still... No elevators or hatches will now work, which is a shame. Without them, we cannot explore the rest of the ship. We're still stuck. True. I believe that he believes is also the pr problem is the vegetation. What is this? What is that vegetation? I am curious to see what it does. So, but Chucky, the reactor core components, which is very interesting. It's it's not like there's freaking was. It's not like there's a plant out there that's sapping energy, for instance. So yeah, we'll have to find the source of the roots to proceed. So that's about it. Anyway. Uh, we're not gonna do much. There's, we can easily blast through that now. We can, we can make the way back to the center reaction core now that they're being confused with all these enemies that are attached to the figure the jiggy. I mean, they are the figure the jiggy. Okay. Right. Uh, that's about it. Uh, we're just gonna save it here. And, uh, we're gonna conveniently locate the, locate the problem of the roots. And hopefully solve some things. So, stay tuned for the next episode. But for now.